Hi, I'm Ann McKinnell. Thanks for joining in. Today I'm going to show you a demonstration of Topaz's latest plugin called Topaz Restyle. This is a very cool plugin that has over a thousand presets for adding effects to your images. So I'm going to show you how this looks with one of my images. This is an image I made of um, a side of a metal warehouse that had some pretty interesting colors in it, so I made this close-up shot. And I'm in Photoshop Elements right now, so all I've done is I made a copy of the background layer and renamed it Topaz Restyle. So now I'm going to open up the plugin by going Filter, Topaz Labs, Topaz Restyle. So it's just going to take a second for the plugin to open up. And then I'll be able to show you all of the cool things that it does. So it's opening here and it's just going to analyze my image. And there we go. So what you'll see is there are a number of different collections on the left hand side. And inside each of these collections are a whole bunch of presets. So it can be a little overwhelming looking through a thousand presets to find one that suits your image when you first start using this plugin. But what I found is that they're actually uh, named very well with the names of the collections and the plugins inside them. So a good place to start is just by using one of the collections. So I'm going to choose this one here called Architecture. And what you can do is just scroll through some of these presets and a little window will open up that gives you a preview of what that preset looks like. But what I like to do is to click this little button right here and it's going to open up a grid that shows a number of the preset to a preview windows all at the same time and you can scroll through them that way. So I'm going to open up this grid view and we can have a look at that. Okay, so the uh, preview windows have loaded, so you can just scroll through and get a pretty good idea of what all of these different effects are going to do to your image. So one of the things I really like about this plugin is that there are so many different effects. You can see how very different all of these plugins are, and um, these are just the ones within that one category. So you have a lot of different options. Um, from black and white to emphasizing one color over another. Uh, it has some kind of complicated algorithm it uses to analyze your colors and uh, come up with all of these different presets. So I'm just going to scroll through these and see if I can find one that I particularly like for this particular image. Okay, now there was one up here that I did really like. Where is it? This one, Fawn Film. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Um, kind of go for the subtle effect a little bit, but I want to bring out the, the colors that are in, in this uh, side of this warehouse. So here it is with that um, preset applied to it. And what you can do is here is a button that's called Processed, and if you click that, you can toggle back and forth between the original and the processed. So there's the original, and that's what it looks like processed. So that's with the default settings applied from the plugin. On the right hand side, it has more options here. Right now, we're looking at the navigator that shows you the image. You can also click the loop if you want to get a close-up of a piece of your image. You can look at a mask and then there's your histogram. So go back here to Navigator and this Restyle tab has um, most of the, the color effects that the plugin has applied and one of the neat things I like about this is that uh, not only does it allow you to, to make adjustments to the primary and secondary uh, colors and more, but it also has um, a blending mode. 
So these are the blending modes very similar to what you're used to seeing in Photoshop. You can choose normal or multiply and screen and you can see how these are changing over in the preview window as I uh, hover over these different options. So there's overlay, soft light, uh, soft light one is one I often choose, hard light, luminosity, and color. So I'm going to choose color in this case. So there it is with color applied. Now another interesting thing about this plugin is that each of the modules, so there's a restyle module and a basic module, each of these has a mask. So if I want to change any of these settings, I can apply a mask and um, define where exactly I want that change to take place. So um, let me see if I can show you that here. Um, it's probably not something I would normally do, but just for the purpose of demonstration, I could take this primary color and um, adjust well, I can go over here to luminosity and let's say I want to change the luminosity of this yellowy shade and turn that way up and you can see how it changed the image to orange. Um, I don't like how that looked but I just want to show you how this mask works. So on the mask I can choose reveal and hide just like the white brush and the black brush in Photoshop and the strength, the brush size and all of that normal stuff. So I can just go over here and start painting over the part where I don't want that orange change I made applied. And I can go and reset this back. Oh, I can actually, if I click over here, I can show you that mask. So there you can see where I just painted over it there. And I can reset this to get rid of that. And I can also go back up here and reset this and get rid of that change that I made. So there's also a basic tab. So in here I can go make changes like uh, the white balance, color saturation, tone levels. And so one thing um, I find about this after the preset has been applied is that I think I'd like it to be just a little bit more gritty to, to suit the, um, the subject of the image. So I'm going to take this structure slider and increase this up and you can see how immediately it increases the kind of the clarity and the structure of the image. So I'm going to do that. I might even add a little bit of sharpness to it just slightly. And I do find that some of the darks are a little too dark so I'm going to take this black level maybe and there, move it up just a little bit. Okay. And if I wanted to, I could mask out that change in certain uh, areas of the photo if I wanted to do that. So I can go back over here and look at the original and the process version to make sure I'm getting what I want. And that's about it. So I hope you found this demonstration helpful. Um, if you want more information, you can see my full review on my blog at annemckinnell.com, where I also have some discount codes for Topaz Restyle. Thanks for joining me, and see you next time.